Hello, once again, I've come your way. This is your guy, Wilson God in Ghana, your youth advisor. It has been long you see me on the screen, but forgive me. Nowadays, I don't get time to record, but, you know, I've been going to some of the offices. You know that I've changed the face of my content because I, I want to help the youths in Africa for them to go, uh, for them to go out there to to make life easy for them. Now, the advice which I will give you to the youth today is uh, some of the agents which we have back home are duping the guys because they know that you guys are desperate to travel. So, the only advice or the underground investigation which I have made to give it to you today or wherever you are watching me from, is be very careful. If you want to travel, don't be desperate. Just take your time. Look at the right offices or look at the right agency so that you can submit your documents. And people out there, these agents back home are out there, maybe if the company needs two or three people, they will organize a big hall to take people's money in the name of registration and medicals. If today is your first time on this channel, my humble request is for you to subscribe to the channel and try to share it to a brother so that a brother will know what is going out there. Try to contact me on this channel so that your life will not be the same. Let's continue our video. So, for instance, if the company need like two or five or ten people, this agent or some of the bad agents which they need money from the people in our various uh, African countries. Let me use Ghana as an example because I'm, I come from Ghana and what I'm experiencing in Ghana is what I'm telling you the Ghanaians, don't be desperate that you want to travel. They will dupe you with so-called interviews, with so-called registrations. So try to contact me so that I can show you the right people and the right offices which you can go and get your visa and travel to the Gulf countries. Not, not only the Gulf, we have Canada, we have Australia, we have Poland, we have New Zealand as well, which we are working on it. But as for the Canada and the New Zealand, unless you are in Qatar, as for the Australia, if you are in Ghana, you can participate in it. If you are in um, Ghana, you can take part of the uh, Australia deal and the Canada. That is what I want to give you the information about this visa issue. Let me come back to what I'm telling you guys. Don't be desperate that you wanted to travel. Else they will dupe you. You will be paying registration, medicals, all all this stupid, uh, all those necessary money to these agents. Be careful of the offices which you have been going. I told you I'm here to help you guys for you to achieve your dreams. But try to share my videos and go to the description box. Pick up the number. Call me and I will help you to get your right destination. The major countries which we have is uh, Qatar because of the 2022 World Cup, they are recruiting. But be very careful. Now, Qatar want to end uh, visa. I mean, working visa. Because, because of the World Cup, they want to issue tourist visa and visit visa for the people out there to come and watch the World Cup and go back. And we have short-term visas, which 
some of the offices are recruiting guys. But don't be deceived that if you come with that short-term visa, you can get uh, a resident permit to continue like the way we have been doing the previous day, the previous times that two years contract and you will sign an agreement to continue your deal. But this is a short term. If it is a three month, at the end of the World Cup, you will go back home. And if it is six months contract, if the deal or if the visa expire is not renewable, guys, listen very careful. That visa is not renewable. You must do exit from the country. So that is the little advice or the tips which I have for you. So if any office deceive you that maybe they will give you NOC for you to continue your contract, look into the offer letter which they will give you well that if they are capable to give you that NOC. If you did not see it in the offer letter, that agreement in the offer letter, please don't accept or if you want to come within that short period to you can come and keep money and go back so that at that time you have get something small to continue your journey every journey starts with uh, a step so if you take the first step and you have the experience the second time you will not suffer but beware of this fraud offices with their organizing interviews which nothing is coming out from it any office which will organize interview and that particular office did not give you offer letter for instance two months three months nothing is coming you can go there and take your money because what did they use that money for they will tell you that go if any offer you have registered already don't accept that is what they are using to take money from the guys or from you guys over there. Take your money back. They don't have any offer for you guys. And try to contact me for me to show.